This side, give me a clap. This side, raise the roof. Both sides for the wonderful Ray Badrin. Let's hear it. Let's go. Hey, guys. They are cool T-shirts, yeah. Oh, I could just hear about them, but they are cool. They're very eye-catching. What's that one say? Hamptons Yacht Club. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, man, it's good to be here at Sydney Comedy Festival. What a nice day it was today. I've been living in London, man. That's, it's, not, it's not like this. It's not nice. Sometimes you'll open up the weather app there and you've seen, you'll see symbols you'll never see in your life here. You'll, like new ones that you've never seen before. You'll be like, is my phone updated? Like, I've seen the number zero there and multiple times. I'm like, what? No degrees? Like, there's none. There's none degrees. I can't get my head around this. If, if someone came up to me and said, hey, man, what's the temperature? I'd be like, there is none. There's, <laughs> there's no degrees at the moment. I don't know if the government's going to do something about this or <laughs> what's happening. <laughs> oh. Last time I flew, I fly back and forth from London. I, I live there now for a bit. And then, like, last time I flew, I did this new flight. It's the longest flight you can do in the world. Direct flight from England to Australia. 17 hour flight. I hate, I'm an anxious flyer. I hate a one hour flight. 17 times more hate this flight, right? <laughs> and I'm on the plane, we're on the runway, hasn't even taken off yet. And we get delayed. The pilot comes on the speakers and he goes, Hey guys, just to let you know, we've got a problem with the baggage here. Uh, but don't worry, I'm going to make up this time in the air. <laughs> and I'm like, What the hell does that mean, you know? <laughs> Are you saying that you knew a faster way to go this whole time? <laughs> of course go that way, you idiot. <laughs> this guy was taking the scenic route the whole time. <laughs> oh. Man, sometimes you don't know what to wear, you know? I said to my friend recently, I said, hey, what should I wear today? It's, it could be too hot for pants, but it could be too cold for shorts at the same time. And he said, he thought this was funny, he goes, why don't you wear three-quarter shorts? <laughs> and I was like, I don't think, there's no such thing as three-quarter shorts. And he goes, yeah, three-quarter shorts, they're between shorts and pants. <laughs> Hippies wear them all the time. And I said, no, that's three-quarter pants. <laughs> no? It's in the name. It's, it's three-quarters of the pants, it's down there. <laughs> three-quarters of the shorts, that's up here. That's, <laughs> that's hot pants you're talking about. Relative to shorts, you could say one and a half shorts, maybe. <laughs> I'd accept 150% shorts, even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, it's a lot, it is a lot colder than what I'm used to over there, but it's all right because I own a coat now. <laughs> and I'd never owned a coat before. Um, I'd seen coats on TV. <laughs> And I'd seen celebrities wearing coats, but now I own a coat. And um, yeah, I see what the fuss is all about, actually. Uh, very proud to own the coat. The only problem I would say with the coat, or with winter time in general, is I've got so many pockets now. I've never had this many pockets before. In, in Sydney, most of the time, you have four pockets. I've got two front pockets, two back pockets, you might have a top pocket, but you're crazy if you're going to use that one. <laughs> anyway, this is what the coat has, though. The coat has two pockets on the outside, on one side. So, like, it's a pocket down there and a pocket up there and another two pockets on the other side of the outside. So, pocket down there, pocket up there. You get an inside right pocket there and then you also get an inside left pocket there. And then I had this coat for months and one day I was walking along, opened it up, and I found more pockets. I was like, oh, there's more. <laughs> Little secret pockets down here. So the coat has eight pockets in total, and now I'm up to a total of 12 pockets altogether myself. That's a big increase in pockets for me, if you're not ready for it. 300% increase in pockets for Ray. <laughs> and it doesn't stop there. Sometimes it'll get so cold, I'll put a hoodie on underneath the coat, 
And that has another two pockets there and there. So it is quite normal for me to be walking around the UK with up to 14 pockets available to me at any given time. And that's too many pockets, obviously. I'm pretty sure I don't even own 14 things in total. And if I did, I wouldn't take them all out of the house with me at the same time. Once I lost my wallet and it was on me. It was still on me. <laughs> I found it two days later and I had it the whole time. Sometimes my phone rings, I can't get it in time. I feel myself vibrating and I think, I'll just deal with this when I get home. <laughs> my whole show's about pockets, so... Um, if you like this, you'll love the show. Um, nah. I do have a little bit more, though. Um, I'll tell you about my favourite pocket. I never mentioned this one yet. <laughs> this is the best pocket there is. This is a little cutie pie of a pocket, this one. The cutest pocket. It's this little pocket up here. Yeah? I like this little pocket because it's a pocket in a pocket. You know, that's what I like. The big pocket, it gets its own little pocket. That's pretty good. When the big pocket's full, it's like, hey, put it, put it in my pocket. This one must be so jealous. <laughs> what a time to be alive, hey? Uh, oh, all right. Um, so, oh, thanks for, thanks for listening to me. I know I bumbled my way through this, but um, this is how I live my life, right? I've got a, <laughs> I own a laptop computer. It's going pretty well, um, guys. <laughs> Yes, I've had the same laptop for seven years. Um, and it's the, P, the letter P stopped working on the laptop. P doesn't work anymore. One of the crucial letters in the alphabet, you'd say, P. Anyway, I took my laptop to get fixed. I took it to the Apple store and I said to the guy, I said, hey, man, the P button doesn't work anymore. You press P, nothing happens. Do you know how hard it was for me to find the Apple store? <laughs> and, 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 anyway. The guy told me, he goes, you've got two options when this happens. And I said, OK, what are the two options? And he said, one, you can get yourself a new laptop. And I thought, I always had that option. You know, I could always do that. <laughs> and he said, two, this is the only real option. He said I had to buy an external keyboard, another keyboard. So this guy wanted me to walk around with a laptop <laughs> and a keyboard during the day. I said, I'm pretty sure nobody's ever done that before. No, I don't, I don't want to be the first person to do that. It's also bad value for money too. Because I only need the P. I don't need all the other letters and numbers. I said, sell me the P on its own, man. I'll buy that. I'll buy a little P board off you. A little, a little P key if you sell them. But um, they don't sell them on their own. So this is what I do now. This is how I live my life. You guys can do this if, if, if you ever get in trouble. This is what you do. I get the laptop in the morning, I, I t open it up, I turn it on, I open up the internet browser, and then you copy the P from the HTTP, <laughs> copy that in there. Now you're ready for the day, you're set for the day. And now P is just control V on my laptop. So, um, pretty little handy life hack. Uh, anyone can do that, you can all do that. Do it with any letter you want as well. So yeah, that's fun. Um, you, you, you can't do it if V breaks. That's the only one. You can't, that, you can't do it if V breaks, but the other ones are good to go. <laughs> All right, thanks for having me, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>